Well, welcome everyone to this latest episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Well, hello everyone and welcome to this latest episode of Jim and Java. I'm excited to be here this week, as I always am, to address your fundraising questions and help you increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. If you aren't already a subscriber to our channel, please subscribe to the Development Effectiveness Strategies channel and uh, click the like button. If you enjoy what you hear on this video today, you can uh, reach me at uh, any time with questions at on Twitter at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java. You can also reach me on Instagram at Dev Effectiveness Strategies and of course anytime via email at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. So let's dive right in to our first question today. Our first question today is from Jeff in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And Jeff asks, what are some of the best ways to thank donors at year end? Well, this time of year is always a great time to just renew that those relationships with our partners and just remember a year's worth of partnership and a year's worth of giving as we start to head towards thanksgiving christmas hanukkah new year all the celebrations and holidays at the end of the year it's great for us to use those holidays as ways to especially appreciate our partners Thanksgiving, a card at Thanksgiving is extremely appropriate as we are with relatives, with family, with friends, thanking them for the things that we've been blessed with over the last year. And it's also completely appropriate for us to send thank you cards at that time to our partners, to pick up the phone, to make a phone call, to email, to text, to um have individual meetings and appointments with people at year end so those the thanksgiving time of the year and i think this year you can certainly as with any other year start as early as the friday before thanksgiving and go all the way through the wednesday the day before thanksgiving and of course uh, you can even call on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of Thanksgiving um, if all you're really doing at that time is just thanking people for what they're doing. And there are just so many things that can be done related to social media this year. Of course, if you're on any of the social media platforms, whether it be Facebook, whether it be Twitter, whether it be Instagram, even TikTok, you can go out with special messages. You can do something as simple as just putting a thank you to all of our partners who have helped us and blessed us so much over the last year. Just a simple um, screenshot of, of something that you've done or a message on that. But of course, you can take the next step and also record a message, record a video, similar to what I'm doing here, uh, but you can post that on just about any of the social media platforms, uh, even going out into LinkedIn and using uh, a platform like LinkedIn. So whatever platforms you use and which ones you feel most comfortable to use, you can reach out to those during the, uh, certainly the month of Thanksgiving, uh, the month of November, that is, and uh, thank Thanksgiving. As you start to approach year end, you probably want to look at, depending on your organization, look at some of the ways that you can thank people. Um, one of the things that our organization does is we send Christmas cards to all of our major donors. I've mentioned so often the critical few, that 20% that brings in 80% of the dollars. And you want to look at those individuals and sending a very personal uh, Christmas card to those individuals are great. Uh, I've also got in the habit over the years, I think I've mentioned to you that I raise my own personal support. I also, um, you know, it's raised that money that covers my salary and expenses for uh, my efforts with our nonprofit organization. So I've got a handful of people that I like to especially appreciate. And I will take anywhere from the top 35 to 50 individuals and I'll send special gifts to those people. It could be anything from something as simple as a bookmark to uh, a Christmas ornament. It could also be something that's related specifically to your organization. If you have an organization that works with kids or works overseas, you could send something that maybe those 
kids made handmade trinkets, things you could send that might not be expensive, but might have great sentimental value to your financial partners, those individuals who have helped to fund an effort, maybe providing water into a village in Africa. And that community uh, puts together some trinkets or something that you would send that would be very, very appealing to individuals. Um, I also have, um, uh, have just seen some um, just things that have been provided as far as gifts that are related to the organization, a counseling center, providing books or um, videos that maybe they have done that are related to a particular topic or subject that would be appealing at that particular time. And uh, I think I mentioned that uh, I spent 30 years uh, working for our nonprofit organization in the Washington, D.C. area. And of course, coming out of Washington, D.C., there's just so much of a connection, whether you work for the federal government or are involved at all with the federal government, somehow uh, it, everything that goes on in Washington, D.C. is intertwined in the Washington, D.C. area with the federal government. And so we used to, I used to send every year uh, my wife and I would send ornaments from the White House or from the U.S. Congress. The White House Historical Society sends ornaments that are, are that date back from particular uh, presidents, whether that be Harry Truman, John F. Kennedy, FDR, Lincoln. There are just a number of of. Uh, ornaments that they have produced over the years and they produce a new one every year and the cost is not that bad it's anywhere between 15 and 20 dollars and if you're sending it to 10 20 30 people as a recognition for their gift of a thousand dollars or more um, it's a nice recognition for people i definitely have to say that you need to be sensitive with all your donors all your partners because there are some that don't want to receive gifts and some that will say please don't use my money as a thank you we're just happy to do what we do and don't use my money to send a thank you gift and uh, sometimes what i've done is i've gotten specific donations from either board or individuals who are very close to the organization to help to underwrite in a sense the cost of giving some gifts to our partners but i just have to say as a disclaimer be very careful certainly be sensitive if someone says please don't use my money that way just a note or a card is is nice and some will even say don't bother to thank me but i still believe that even though some individuals will say don't bother thanking me i think and i believe they really do appreciate a thank you but in that case i'm referring to more an email a note a card a letter something that isn't in their mind perceived as expensive because that's the that's the big thing and i've i've mentioned in other videos in fact i've got a very specific video uh regarding how to thank donors that i i created last year and we'll put that out there uh, up, up in the top for you to watch. But I had a uh, colleague who used to hand deliver jams and jellies from a very um, private, uh, exclusive um, place that made jams and jellies. I had a colleague that used to grab air sickness bags. And when he was uh, on, on planes traveling a lot to speak, he would write something as corny as, uh, Dear John and Mary, I'm sick I couldn't be with you, but I just wanted you to know I'm thinking about you as I'm headed to Sioux Falls, South Dakota to speak. So there's just a lot of creative things that can be done from the thank you standpoint. And so I, I would continue to say uh, that personal touch that way of expressing your appreciation, your gratitude, and you don't need to say a lot in those thank you notes and thank you cards. Just the fact that you recognize them is important. And frankly, in this day and age, it's so hard to get people on the phone, even a voicemail, just a, this is Jim Dempsey, and I just wanted to call and thank you so much for your partnership with us over the last year. That's all you need to say. Don't feel like you have to um, keep a long conversation going, but just some simple things like that. Uh, if you are an organization or a person of faith, you can certainly ask and solicit for prayer requests, but also uh, just let people know uh, how much you appreciate them. If you have stories to be able to share about the difference that they're giving made over the year, a, a particular change life story, remember the old adage, people give to people, justified by the cause. So connecting them with a person whose life was changed always will make a difference. So Jeff, I hope that answered your question. I appreciate so much.
each and every one of you who are submitting questions, emails, texts, uh, sending those questions to me. Once again, you can send those questions on Twitter at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java. You can send messages to me. You can IM me on Instagram at Dev Effectiveness Strategies or always email me at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. And as I always say, we strive to help you increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Take care. We'll see you next week.